friends. My name is Miranda and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe for more free video tutorials and content about all things crochet. Today, I am here to introduce you to my newest pattern and blanket and I am so excited. I have been thinking about this for a while and haven't figured out the best way to put it on paper or a digital download as in the patterns that are available on my website. But today I'm going to start. Not sponsored by Joann's, but that's of course where I always go to buy my yarn. And today I'm going to explain the concept of this blanket. I love all things custom to like birth month flowers or gemstones, etc. So the concept behind this blanket is birth month color blankets, custom for babies soon to be. If you've had a kid before, or you know people who have kids, you know that due dates are suggestions and babies do not abide by them. So sometimes if you wanna make something knowing you're gonna have a little amethyst baby, you might get shocked because the baby comes two weeks early or two weeks late. So the, I, the idea behind this blanket is that you take both parents' colors associated with their gemstones and create a blanket with it. What I have done is created a guide, so I will show you the light color and the dark color associated with each gemstone, and then suggestions for which complementary colors to use, and then show you how to make it. The pattern is available on my website, craftymomamur.com, and includes everything you need to know from how many chain stitches to do, what colors to use, what size hook, etc. This blanket is for my baby Isaiah. To start out, you're going to combine all three strands like they are one strand. I like to use a tote bag and pull from the middle to avoid knots. But what we're going to do to start is a, um, you can use this method for a magic ring or to just do your first loop on your hook. So you're gonna lay it through your palm and you're gonna wrap once around your finger like that. So you should have one, two on your finger. You're gonna take the left and move it over to your right and keep it still on your finger. And then you're gonna take your left and move it over your finger. So you will have a little slip knot there. You're going to stick your hook through and then pull it nice and tight. The important thing to remember when crocheting is and starting your blanket is make sure you loosen up your chain stitches, which was about which is what I'm about to show you. Because if you do your chain stitches too tight at the beginning of your blanket, you'll end up getting a little trapezoid of a blanket. So we're going to start with our chain stitches. And to do a chain stitch, you are going to loop and then go back, loop, and then go back, loop, back. And we're gonna do that all the way until the end. And as a reminder, the amount of chain stitches, whether you wanna do this blanket as a baby size, a throw size, or a king size are available in the pattern. So I'm going to finish doing the chain stitches and then I will meet you at the next step. So now we are done with our chain stitch. So what we're going to do at the start of this blanket, every V is a, every V is considered a stitch. And so we are going to skip two stitches for this first row and we're gonna go into that third stitch. So that allows for it to jump up to the next row. The stitch we will be using in this blanket is a double crochet rib stitch. How we're going to do that is we're going to go loop. We're gonna go under into that third stitch a loop, go back, and you'll have three on your hook. You'll go loop, and you'll go back, and then you'll have two on your hook, and then you go loop, and then back again. So that is a double crochet, and then we are going to continue along this whole chain stitch doing double crochets. So I will show you a couple more, and then I will meet you at the end and show you what to do. So we're gonna loop, under, loop, back, three on the hook, loop, back, two on the hook, loop, and back. When we get to the end of the row, what you're gonna do is add two chain stitches, which is you go loop and back, and I like to pull it a little extra tight, loop and back, and then we flip our work over. With this pattern, we are going to be doing a rib stitch. What that means is that you see the V, we are going to go in the back loop only on every row for the next, until we're done with the blanket. And it's gonna give it a really cool texture. If you've seen some of my other patterns, I absolutely love a rib stitch. I think it gives it a really cool texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our double crochet. We are going to go back into, so you can see we did our one, two chain stitches. So we're going to go into this stitch. 
You should not be adding or dropping stitches with this blanket. And the two chain stitches, we just add to jump up to the next row, but we continue to go into that stitch. So we're going to go loop and we will go under, but we will go under the back loop only. Then loop, back, loop, back, loop, back. So again, to do the rib stitch, it's the same as a double crochet, but we are just going in the back, we are just going in the back loop only. So you're going to continue that, and then we are going to, here I'll show you one more time, you go loop, under the back loop only, loop, back, loop, back, loop, back. So we are going to get to the end of this row and then I will show you how to change colors. So before we jump to the next row, we're going to be changing color. And so before we add the chain stitches, what we're going to do is we're going to tie on the color we are alternating into the color we are alternating out. A guide for specific colors, what to use in what row is available in the pattern, as well as just a blank template to follow along if you need to keep track. So I like to do a double square knot as close to the stitch as possible. And then we're gonna keep our tail ends about anywhere from six to eight inches. And I will show you what we do with that. A big tip right now is we just took out the gray. Go back to your skein and pull the gray out so that it doesn't get tangled in with your new three color strand. So now we're gonna add our two chain stitches to jump to the next row. And now we're going to go back. Um, the key to this though is what we're going to do is we're going to crochet over this tail end so then we don't have to do any weaving in of these color changes at the end. So we're going to go loop and we're gonna go under and again we're going under the back loop only and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay that tail end over that part and then we are just going to crochet over that tail end. So we will continue on loop and you can just move the tail to the side, then go under and then lay it over. And then we will just continue to do the double crochet in the back loop only over this entire um, row. So that is the start of our blanket. And again, it uses four colors, three at a time. As a bonus, if you purchase the pattern in August, and send me your birth months as long as what you would like the blanket named. I will be adding it to the pattern and then sending out the updated form. So the cool thing about my patterns is anytime I update them, it gets sent to you automatically. So thank you for the support for everyone from my day one patterns because you've been sent like five more revisions because I have learned a thing or two about pattern writing. But this is my newest pattern. Thank you again and follow along for more parts.